What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another edition of Coding with Robbie. As always, I'm your host, Robbie, and in today's video, we're going to be covering meta object pages. So this is a new feature in Shopify that allows you to create entire pages based off your meta objects, and it's very powerful. So we're going to cover it from front to back, and if that sounds good, make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment, and we'll get right into it. Let's go. All right, so creating a meta object page is dead simple. So I got my admin panel pulled up right here, and I'm just using the default Dawn theme, which I just installed. And to create our first meta object page, we just got to go to the content section over here, go to meta objects. And then if you have this button, you can click this. If not, you can go up to manage definitions, scroll to the bottom and hit add definition. So now here we define our meta object, which we're going to build the page out of. So I'm just going to be building kind of an FAQ section of our website for now. So I'll just call this FAQ. Down here is the fields that our page is going to consist of, or the object. So let's do a single line text. I'll just call this title. And I'll make it required. Minimum character count will be two. And we'll hit add. And then let's add a body for the answer. So I'll go down here to rich text. I'll call this body. And I'll leave it optional. And then let's just add an image for fun. So for an image, we have to do a file field, which is right here. Now I'll just call this image, uh, leave that all blank. I won't make it required, but I will make it to where it's only images. So now we got a title, a body, and an image. And now the important part is we got to come down to the bottom here and check web pages. And this is going to make it so we can create pages based off these meta object entries. So let's hit save. So now we have our object set up. So now we have to add an entry. So you can click the link right here. And let's title our question. So we'll go my first meta object page. And then for body, we can just go blah, blah, blah. Shopify, if you're watching, fix this uh, border radius right here. And then for image, let's just select this lady. And then uh, I'm going to hit save. So now we have the object, but we don't have a template for it yet. So we could click this or we could go to our theme. Let's go over here. I got my Dawn theme right here. I'll go to customize. And now in this drop down, you're going to have a new section for whatever you titled your meta object. So mine is FAQ. I'll click in right here. Go create template. And now we're designing the template that these meta objects are going to use. So let's add a section right here. So we have a title, a body, and uh, an image. So I guess let's start with the image. I'll do this image uh, banner section right here. And then all I want is the image, so let's delete all that. Go in here. And then for the image, we're going to hit this little database icon. And we'll select our image. So there's that lady I assigned. We'll go back. Let's add another section. For this, we're going to do rich text. And now for the title, let's assign our title from the meta object. And we can actually delete this extra text. And then we'll go back. We got our rich text field right here. So let's assign our body field to that. Go back. And I don't need this button, so I'll delete it. And let's just hit save. And now we have a template for our meta object. So now we can go view this page on our store. So let's check it out. Let's go back. We'll go to content. I'll find the FAQ that I created right here. And if you take a look down here, you can see the URL. So it's going to be pages slash FAQ slash uh, the slug right there. So let's check this out. And here we go. We got a whole page set up for our meta objects. All right. So now the next thing you probably want to do is build an index page for our FAQs so that when we visit slash FAQ, we'll be presented with links to all the different FAQ pages. And this is a little bit hidden. I have to actually reach out to someone who sent me this article where it shows you how to do this. So if you scroll down. You can see an example right here, and I'll link this article in the description. But let's try it out. So let's go back to our admin panel, and we're going to create a page real quick. So let's go online store pages, add page. Let's just call this FAQ, and we're going to change the template in a second, but for now, just save it. And then let's go to our theme, and we're going to go to edit code. And we're going to have to create a new section. So if you haven't seen my video on Shopify sections, I recommend checking that out. It'll also be linked in the description, but let's go to sections. Let's add a new section. It'll be a liquid section. We'll call it FAQs. 
and then let's copy in that code from the article. So let's copy all of this and paste it in at the top. And then right here is where you put the name of your meta object. So ours was FAQ. So we can save that and ours has a title, not a name. And we're gonna link it to the URL, which it has right there. So now let's uh, name our section down here. We'll call it FAQs. And we don't need any settings, but what we do need is a presets. Let's do a presets array, and inside there we'll just have the default one. We'll just call it name FAQs. So that should be good enough to render this on a template. So let's save it and we'll go back. And now we're going to go to customize theme. We're going to go pages. And we're going to create a new page for our. Uh, FAQs index, so I'll just call it FAQs with a Z. It'll be based off the default page. We'll create the template. And then in here, we can add that new section we just built. So let's go add sections. We call it FAQs. Goes up right there. Let's add it. And we can already see our link to our FAQ is showing up right there. So now we just got to assign the page to that template. So go back to pages, FAQ. Theme template, we're gonna use the FAQs one we just created. And now when we go here, we got our index page and it's unstyled, but it's gonna create a list of all our pages. And you can click into it and it'll take you to the individual page. That's pretty cool. And then one last thing you might wanna do is if you have a ton of objects, you're gonna wanna pay, uh, paginate it, paginate it, I don't know how you say it. But there's also an example of that in this article. So you can just scroll down a little more and they show it right here. So let's uh, copy this code. And let's go back to our section. And uh, we gotta go to edit code. And I still have it open right here. So let's paste in that code I just copied. So we got paginate and we're paginating our FAQs. And I'm just gonna do it by one so we can create multiple pages real quick. And then uh, we already have the loop down here and we gotta bring this down below. This is what's gonna show the different page links. And then at the bottom here, we gotta go end paginate. Just like that. And um, this should work. So let's create another article and then we'll test it. Let's see, no changes yet. Let's create another one. So go back to content, FAQ. And I'm gonna add an entry, my second meta object page. And I'll just put some random content in there. I'll select a random image and I'm going to save it. So now we got two entries, so we should have two links and it should be paginated. Let's see. And there we go. There's the first one and we have multiple pages. And uh, the individual links work and that's basically meta object pages. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.